Welcome to Divine Promises, Empowering Your Faith, where we explore the transformative power of the assurances of God. I am Mario Lewis. For just a few minutes, we'll be looking at John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John in his book stresses heavily the matter of relationship between God and ourselves. Therefore, it's no coincidence that in the book of John, you find the words abide and love mentioned a lot. In fact, the word abide appears in the book of John over 40 times, and that tells that the writer is indeed sending a message. Our text of focus in the English translation begins with the word for we're learning today. It begins with the word for, but in the original language, watch this, which is the Greek, it actually begins with the word so. That's how the text begins. And the word so there, it's not like we use it really in English language. The word so there actually translates to mean of this manner. Therefore, if we should paraphrase, then the text is basically saying of this manner, God so loved the world. Yes, I'm seeing your faces, it makes sense. And so by doing this, John is basically saying, listen, yes, we know God loves us and all of that, but it is of this manner that he loves us. And what is that manner? He gave his only son to die for us. Now that, my friends, is a big deal. Because a son back then represented hope. So as Jesus spoke to Nicodemus, he had to show him the gravity of the love that God has for him. So much so that he would offer up his son in death. What a love. But then we cannot ignore the fact that this great sacrifice was for a reason. The text says that whoever believes will not perish, but have everlasting life. See friends, it is never God's intention that any of us should perish. He has made provisions so that we can all have access to eternal life. But, watch this, conditions apply. It is only as we believe, that's all. Just do your part by believing and accepting that Jesus died for you and then eternal life is yours. Because God, watch this, God would have already shown us all, you and me, the manner in which he loves us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are truly grateful for the sacrifice that you made for us. We thank you, Lord, for showing us the full extent of your love. We ask that you will give us the power to make a decision on our end to accept and believe that you died for us so that we can all have access to eternal life and make it a reality for us. Thank you again, Lord. And we ask that you will continue to be with us as we strive to walk the walk and talk the talk and live the life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for journeying with me today. May the divine promises of God fortify your spirit and empower your faith to soar beyond earthly bounds. Join us again next week for another inspiring message. God bless you.